Developing tonight, Buffalo Police are working with state police and the FBI. They want to know who called them to say they had bombs and planned to shoot up their school. The Nichols School in Buffalo was placed on lockdown this morning. It took officers about two hours to clear the building. They say no gun was found, but the investigation continues. And as Michael Schwartz reports, other school districts also received similar calls today. An end of the week scare at Nichols School. Just after 8 a.m., Buffalo police received threatening calls. One call came into our Seneca Street police garage. That call was not clear. It was staticky, and the call dropped. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia says another call came in by an individual who claimed he is going to shoot up Nichols School and that he had bombs. And that uh, the sound of gunfire played in the background. Prompting a quick response. The response was, uh, it was, was appropriate. It was very fast. I commend the officers for their very quick response and immediate entry into the buildings. The school went into lockdown as canine units also swept the campus. After just less than two hours, Buffalo police saying no credible threat was found. Those that want to make these calls that, you know, that maybe think they're being funny, that think they're being cute, um, it's not going to be tolerated. Uh, that's something for the district attorney's office to speak on on the, on the level of charges and prosecutions. I can just say that from our end, we will certainly charge any and all appropriate charges and we will push for the maximum penalty. Examples have to be set. Commissioner Grimalia says similar threats were made on Friday to three other New York schools, one downstate, another in Steuben County, and John Kennedy Intermediate School in Batavia. Batavia police saying the call came in around 740 Friday morning, and even though there's no school there today, it still prompted a quick police response. Batavia's police chief echoing that those responsible will be charged to the fullest. Buffalo Police Department's Threat Management Unit is leading the investigation and working with state police and the FBI in this investigation. Michael Schwartz, 7 News Buffalo.